When an application is vulnerable to cross-site scripting, one of the actions that attackers attempt to perform is capturing the user session cookies and ultimately hijacking their account. In a successful scenario, if the victim is an admin user on the vulnerable application, then exploiting XSS could allow an attacker to access admin functions and data and fully compromise the application. During this video, we see this scenario in action. For the purpose of this exercise, we use a stored XSS lab from Web Security Academy and you can find the link to this lab in video description. To solve this lab, we need to exploit stored XSS to capture a victim user session cookie and then hijack its account. Okay, let's begin by clicking on access the lab. As we see the application homepage contains several blog posts. Let's choose the first one and click on view post. At the bottom of the page, there are a few comments from different users and also a section for posting comments on this blog post. From the lab description, we already know that the comment field is vulnerable to stored cross-site scripting. So we will use a payload to exploit this vulnerability. Since our goal is to capture user session cookie for the XSS payload, we need a JavaScript code that makes an HTTP request to an external domain under our control. So when a user visits our comment, we can capture his cookie. JavaScript has different functions and APIs to make HTTP requests to send or receive data from a server, including XML HTTP request and fetch API. However, to keep it simple, in this lab we use an IMG tag. The IMG tag is used to embed an image into an HTML page. In our payload, we need to define src attribute and an error event attribute to suit our needs. src value is URL that specifies the path to an image. An error value is a script that will be triggered if an error happens while loading the image. We use this simple IMG tag for the XSS payload. The src value is an invalid URL, so when the web page wants to load the embedded image, it will trigger an error, and the onError event value is defined to make an HTTP request to an external domain and send the user session cookie as part of that request. Now we only need to replace the domain name with the server that we control. We use Burp Collaborator to generate a domain name for us. Then we use that domain name in our XSS payload. We go to Burp menu and then choose Burp Collaborator client. When Burp opens the Collaborator client window, it automatically generates a new payload which is a domain name, and we use that domain name for the external server in our payload. So I click on copy to clipboard to copy this domain name. We leave the collaborator window open so we can see if there is any interaction with our server. I'll go to the web browser and in the comment field, I'll put the XSS payload and replace the domain name with the domain from Burp Collaborator. Then I fill out name, email and website and click on post comment. Now that our comment containing XSS payload is submitted, if any user visits the blog post, then the embedded image will make an HTTP GET request and send the user session cookie to the Burp collaborator. Now let's check if our XSS payload was triggered by any user. We go to the collaborator client window and click on poll now to see if there is an HTTP request interaction. As we see, there are a few interactions. I choose one of the HTTP requests and then click on Request to Collaborator tab. Looking at the GET request, we see a URL parameter called Session, and its value is the session cookie of the victim user, which was captured and sent to the Burp Collaborator by our XSS payload. Let's copy the session value and close Burp Collaborator window. Then we go to the web browser. Now let's see what happens when we click on My Account from the top right corner of the page. As we see, we have been redirected to the login page, indicating we don't have the permission to access this page without valid credentials. Now let's try again using the cookie that we got from Burp Collaborator. Make sure the Burp intercept is on and then click on My Account. In the HTTP request, replace current value of the session cookie with the one that we copied from Burp Collaborator and then forward the request. In the browser, we see the message that we have solved the lab, and we can also see that we have now access to the admin user account page. In this video, we saw how an attacker could target application users, including admin users, by exploiting stored XSS to steal user session cookies and hijack their account. 
If you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a like and make sure to subscribe to the channel as I upload new videos every week.